Hello everyone and welcome back to Coral Island. My internet is being absolute trash right now so I'm really, fingers crossed, I'm hoping that it stays on. I actually had to go reset it so I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> As you can see from the title, I miss Mark. I miss him quite dearly. <laughs> I still haven't been able to find him. I want to. I want to quite desperately so that's my mission. It's my mission to find to find my mark. Deliver a cauliflower to Jack. Okay. Sunny and clear and beat the TV with the uh, with the hoe. That's <gasps> no! <laughs> Oh my gosh! I'm actually so genuinely excited. Look! Look! I asked and I received him on my doorstep! Delightful! How beautiful! Hello! 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 How's it going? Thank you so much for the sub! <laughs> yes, good morning! I'm Mark. I know who you are, Mark! You're the new farmer, I know. I'm here to give you some info. He's not very friendly when you first meet him. The cavern northwest of here is now open, right through the forest. When you see Jack's ranch, go left and follow the path. It was closed? <laughs> yes, it was closed. Now it's open. Catch any of that? He's he's not super friendly to begin with, but then again, most of them aren't. The band of smiles cleared up the top levels of the cavern. It's safe to roam. No monsters anymore. Just don't go too deep. Your garden rake won't help you down there. Monsters. <laughs> it is dangerous. That's all. If you want to know more, ask Kira. I'm done here. But Mark! Waste of time. I'm gonna prove you wrong, Mark. I'm gonna be the best warrior there is. As I <laughs> take the time to water my plants. Okay, I desperately need to go to the mines though because I want a barn actually I wanted a coop but I can't get that without having um, bronze I need bronze quite badly oh how is everyone doing today work was a little chaotic yesterday the phones were like not working because the Verizon tower went down so every time I picked up the phone it was like hello 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 it's like we found out Verizon phones couldn't hear us it is the darndest thing because other providers could hear us just fine but not Verizon I still don't know what was up with that but okay and grab grab some more water do I have any seeds um, okay, and those don't need donated. Okay, so we have officially met Mark. Mark, you. You get a favorite already. Mark, we love Mark. Sorry, my stomach's growling. Like I just ate, but it's just like we're not we're not used to having a full good dinner. Where is there a reason you were so tired or just just needed the sleep? Believe me, I I feel that. I feel that. That's that's me most of the time. I'm like I just need more sleep. And then do I get sleep? No. No, I don't. Do I have a sword? I have a feeling I'm going to get a sword when I show up at the mine. I was like, I'm thinking... I just have an obscene amount of money for being day five of the game, but... That's what happens when your game does a reset and they're just like, we'll give you all your money back. I'm like, okay! I'll take that money. Don't mind if I yes. <gasps> Mangosteen? Is that new? I, I don't recall Mangosteen being in the, the early game. Mangosteen. You know, I've never actually tried a Mangosteen. What is... What is my alarm telling me? 
Sorry, what? Come on. Come on. We're gonna be like that. Okay, well, fine. Nobody pushed the doorbell. I guess we're fine. Just me, sitting alone in my library. Okay, nobody's outside. It's, it's fine. We're good. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that's, um... That sounds terrible. I do 10s, and that, that's, like, hard enough. I can't imagine doing 15s. Get back, get back. You, the weak-looking farmer, get back. Is it Kira or is it Mark? It's Kira. Get back from the monster. Wait a minute. Where are the monsters? <laughs> They're gone. I scared them. Well, Mark and I did clear out the top levels. But that quake. Hmm. The shaking happened right after you entered, right? <laughs> it's me. I'm special. I make the earth shake and quake. There's an old myth about certain curses reacting to a presence, but that can wait. My name is Kira. I assume you're the new farmer. Huh, why? Yes, yes I am. Being a farmer and all, you're probably here to do some mining. In that case, only the earth shaft is currently accessible. The elevator over there works, but only down to the first floor. Oh jeez! Yeah, yeah, I, I don't, uh, I don't envy you that, because <laughs> when we get packages delivered, we have to keep them at um, our mail table, and sometimes we have to move them. I'm like, how in the world do these people lift these packages like all day long? Like they're so freaking heavy. Uh, if you go down deep enough, you can restore access to other floors. You've definitely come to the right place to mine for ores and gems. These caves have them in plenty. Just don't forget they have monsters, too. Ah, oh, yes, yes, the monsters. Take this sword. <laughs> You'll need something to defend yourself with. Ah, yes, the crappy little sword that I had for a very, very, very long time. It's a long descent, so make sure you're well supplied. Be careful down there, and good luck. <laughs> well supplied? I'm just gonna run down there. I'll be fine. Famous last words. Okay, I have a sword and a mangosteen. I can do this. And I've now met Kira. Okay, I'm going to switchy switch these things around. Yeah, there we go. Yay, let's hear it for stone. Oh wow, that <laughs> the best of luck. Now, can I avoid fights? Like, if, can I avoid them if I just don't want to fight? Uh, except for the fact that this one didn't spawn in any ores. Okay, this game is pretty much telling me, like, you're already in a fight with that blob over there. Like, but I don't want to be. Okay, la di da di da. So I don't want to kill things if I don't have to. Hey, yay! I don't want a fight. So for the upcoming D and D session, I'm giving serious consideration to giving my character an accent. But I also think that's an extremely terrible idea. 
Because then, not only do I have to keep up the accent, but I actually have to make sure that it's a good accent. And then I have to risk actually using that accent for an extended period of time. Like, I am quite worried that I'm just going to end up, and it's probably going to be British because that's one of the only ones I can decently emulate. But, um... Yeah, then I have to run the risk of talking in a British accent at my work. <laughs> and there's going to be no end to the embarrassment if my coworkers are like, what's with the accent? Be like, you you don't need to know. And then it's like like doing the accent in small quotes is fine, but like speaking in a full like, full-on accent. It's like there are subtle nuances in words that don't necessarily flow very well. So it's like, okay, like, how do I... How do I get this word to sound right? And then it's like, okay, how do I... How do I make this character's voice? I am not a voice actor. I, d I hardly do a good enough job, like, just narrating my own stuff. <laughs> Stop growling, stomach. I fed you. I did. You had pot roast. And it was delicious. Growing up, I never really realized how easy making pot roast is. Until I started making it as an adult. And then I'm like, oh my gosh. You literally just like throw the stuff in the crock pot. Set it and forget it. And then when you get home, it's like, oh, somebody made me dinner. It was past me. Thank you, past me. Past me made me a delicious dinner. Oh no. Oh. Yay, I have, I have tree seeds. What floor are we on? Floor seven? Okay, let's just eat a couple more of those. Okay, and I don't want to fight. I like literally just want this ore vein and to get to level 10. That's it. That's all I want. I'm a woman of simple needs. Also, has anybody played Baldur's Gate 3 yet? I want to get it, but it doesn't have a physical copy yet for the PS5, and that's really what I want. I want to be able to play it from the comfort of my couch with really good graphics. Also, okay, so can we talk about with, like, new games that are coming out and whatnot, I am sick of multiplayer games. Like, not as in, like, just completely multiplayer, but, like, you know, if it's, like, Stardew, where you can, like, invite people and you can play a game with, like, a couple of people, that's fine. I got a geode. But making... An entire installment of a series, like a, a online multiplayer, that's just cruel. What about us people who don't like people? It just seems a bit mean-spirited. Where the frick frack is... See, I hate it. I'm on, I, get, I get going and I'm on a roll and then all of a sudden it's just like, oh yeah, no, mine shafts? Well, we don't believe in those. Ah, uh, I don't have any more energy items, and it's like it's a long way. I just like have to dearly hope that we can get just super, super lucky again. We're not gonna get lucky. There might not be a luck aspect in this game, but there is a luck aspect in this game, and it is not in my favor. Ow! See, look, I try to avoid the fight, and they bring the fight to me. I don't want to fight. <laughs> I really don't. Back away. Back away slowly. Darn you, beasties. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Ah, we're officially in slow mode. Lame! Although I guess I probably should have paid attention. Um. Ha, <laughs> ha. One. I can make one. I could eat the mangosteen, but I just don't want to. Uh, at this point, it's not worth it because I'm not going to... It's very doubtful that I'm going to get another two levels, so... Hi, Scott. Did you bring vitamins with you? Scott, if I brought vitamins with me, I wouldn't look anemic right now. Okay, well... That sucks. And I doubt the... Who's he what's at the hot springs is open. I mean, it couldn't hurt to try, but I'm like 99% sure that it's uh, not open. Okay, can I just find some forage or something to eat so that I can, you know, not be seeing everything in black and white? I walk so slow, but with such purpose. You know, if I see Mark, though... <gasps> Speaking of, where where is my darling? Oh, Mark! <gasps> Dang it, Mark. I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> At least I saw him. I have, I've seen my Mark. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the bathhouse is closed. Temporarily out of service. It's interesting. I don't know if I ever got to explore that far. But anywho, it's it's closed. Back to the homestead for me. Oh, it wants me to open my journal and claim a reward. Oh, look! Money! <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna happen. Craft a bouquet. Um, that took a lot of my flowers and was probably relatively useless. <clears throat> if I can find Mark tomorrow, I will give him the thing. Or I can make Alex's dang gift to Macy, but <laughs> whoever f whoever I find first gets the bouquet. How f how about that? Fair is fair. Fair is fair, Alex. Where am I going? I'm just running around, running around like a bunch of nonsense is what I'm doing. I'm gonna get myself stuck somewhere. I swear this last week I have been waking up and I'm like I'm so tired and it's cold and normally I would go outside with the dogs in the morning but I've just been like letting him out and standing in the garage like half asleep <laughs> and the dogs just look at me like but but mama and like no, no mom's tired let me sleep Like, I want them to be happy, but I want to be asleep. Sell the mangosteen! I'm actually going to take one of those daisies. <laughs> and one of the turnips, because I don't want to be caught needing a turnip for donation and not having a turnip for donation. Okay, go to sleep. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. We got a makeshift scarecrow and fertilizer. And explosives, because <laughs> we like that. I do become a pyro once a year, and it's, it's rather fun. 
Weather report. Of course it's going to be sunny. I swear the weather system in this game just hates me. <gasps> Pablo, hello. Hello, hello. What could be better than a visit from your local blacksmith? Road around town is that you've started to mine the earth shaft. That's actually why I'm here. Oh. As you mine, you'll come across ores. What good does that do? Oh. Yeah, what good does that do me, you might be thinking. Well, you can turn ores into bars. With enough bars, our shop can upgrade your tools. Work smarter, not harder, as I like to say. For a fee, of course. To make bars, you'll need a furnace, which you can now craft courtesy of this blueprint. Came a little close there, sir. I just love his, like, easygoing confidence. Like, Pablo, I know I've said this before, but he sneaks up on you. One day you're laughing and joking, and the next all of a sudden you're like, wham bam, he's married to you. You're like, what? <laughs> like, when did that happen? Uh, you need five of the same ores to make one bar. You also need one charcoal to fire up the furnace. Yep, I think you're all set now. Because we, if you've ever played any farming game ever, you know exactly how this works. I can make a furnace! Or can I? That is the excellent question. I... See, that's the problem, is it costs so many... It costs so many ore to make, and then you're just like, oh, okay, well, you know, it was useful for like three seconds. Okay, so the peony is ready. Peony is actually a very pretty flower. It's very soft and frilly. I really need it to rain so that I can go back into the mine without losing any of my stamina. Okay, what is... There we go. I was like, it's a seed. It's a seed of some kind. It is a maple seed. Okay, I would like to store one peony. I shall sell the rest. Okay, and then I'm actually gonna go buy some seeds real quick. Just because I do want to try to get more into farming. <clears throat> ah, stupid water. I will say having money makes the early game much easier because now I don't have to worry about like, oh, I can't afford X many seeds. I'm like, ha ha ha, look at that. I'm just like seeds, seeds galore. Okay, do I have, no. I don't have the blueprint for a um, sprinkler. So, say la vie. let's go find Sam. Throwback to my second husband in uh, Stardew. Oh look, an event! <laughs> hey there, Rosie. It's good to see you. I'm just heading to Raj's cafe. Uh, to Raj's coffee. Are you here to socialize? Uh, yes. By the way, what's with the puffer scene? Ah, the scene. Yeah. It's easier if I show you. But I have things to do! Let's head to the community center and chat there. My coffee can wait. Uh, but I, I have seeds to buy! Seeds! I have an F. <laughs> See that large F on the town rank board? Yes, that's us. It didn't happen suddenly, though. This room used to be the pride and joy of our town, proudly displaying Starlet Town's A rank. An A, Rosie. Sometimes we got a B, but it was never an F until... Ah, I need to sit down to tell you what happened. Ugh. Some time ago... Ugh. 
Judge Ross. That's correct, Mayor. As usual, every season we start to look at why people visit Starlet Town. Visitors come here to see our museum, heritage sites, and the ocean. Now, the town rank we award is based on the condition of these attractions at the time of review. <coughs> Today we're awarding Starlet Town with the rank of... Say what? <laughs> Hello? Listen, prepare all necessary documents and equipment. I found the perfect location. That snake! Last year, an oil spill from a neighboring island made its way here and wreaked, uh, wreaked havoc. Everything went downhill from there. Karen was there, at the town rank hearing. They've been watching us this whole time, those conniving pufferfish people. You heard what she said the other day at the new pufferfish building. Their plan to rescue us is to rebrand Starlet Town as an oil town. Just the thought of abandoning our legacy, the museum, ocean, and heritage sites, it's hard to accept. On the other hand, thinking about our town going under is harder. Our town used to be good, Rosie. Great, even. Business was booming. The town, it was lively. I'm afraid that unless we can increase the town's rank back to A and regain the trust of visitors, we have no choice but to work with Pufferfish. Ref refilling the museum seems straightforward and achievable. It will just take time. But healing the sick heritage sites or getting rid of those stubborn roots in the ocean? Where do we even start? How do we even start? Don't worry, the brand new person to town who has absolutely no connection here is going to be the one to figure it out. Our town is in a difficult position. It's a lot to take in, I know. How about, join, how about you join me for a coffee? A walk in fresh air will do us both good. I was craving coffee today. I wanted coffee so bad. I didn't even drink coffee and I was like, oh. Do you have venti white chocolate? Iced mocha. Sounded so good. I'm gonna make myself crave coffee again. Is everything alright? I'm seeing things, boss. It's fine. Why is it every single time you're playing a farming game, it's like you're the special one and you have hallucinations? It's like I see that more as a problem than an asset. Did you know I was just about to write a piece on the harm of oil drilling companies? And now one appeared right in our homes. Leah, have I met you yet? You said you're a farmer, right? <laughs> that explains the outfit. How cute. Leah! Leah! There's a reason we're not friends, woman. What time does Sam- Oh, there he is. I was like, what time does Sam open? <laughs> right about now. Hi, Sam. I need... Cauliflower? Okay, okay. I see how it is. Uh, we're just gonna buy a bunch of everything and then we'll plant it when we have time to plant. Cause it's not like I don't have the money! I'm actually a little tired of having money. I'm just like, I have all the money and nothing, like, nothing that I can do with it. Just buy seeds. Because I can't upgrade my house yet because I don't have the ore. I was like, please don't give me another cutscene. I've had my fill. <gasps> Look at him! <gasps> Ooh, Syria. What a beautiful day for a swim. Surya, you know what you need? You need... You need a tulip. You're very kind. Thank you. <gasps> Thank you! What a cutie! Okay, who's closer? Who's closer? There's a stranger over there. Okay, Macy's down there. Where is... 
Okay, guys, somebody's all the way over there. Should I just find the strangers? Okay, what is it with the doorbell? What's going on? No one. No one is there. Is it the cats? Are the cats doing it? Probably. Okay, let's actually just focus on meeting the strangers, I guess. I'll go plant the crops at some point. I've met mostly everyone. Love the laminar flow. Okay, now I've met her. Who is... Oh, it's over there. I was like, who is the question mark? Is it Antonio? Have I not met Antonio yet? Hmm, yeah? Ah, the new resident. Well, we've officially met Antonio. Okay, they have a shop with donuts and chocolate chip muffins. Oh my gosh, that gives you so much energy. Never mind, it's not that much, but still. Look at the donuts! Okay, coffee takes your health? Well, what? What? I don't necessarily appreciate the, uh, the message they're sending. Coffee is delicious. Okay, so Mark was closer, technically. Oh, Marky boy! Mark, 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 Mark! Mark, 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 Mark. I was like, why can't I find him? Because he was inside. Oh, Mr. Mark. I have something for you. Hello, handsome. I don't care about all these oil... Uh, yeah, all these oil talk. Okay. I'll care when they can supply us with better weapons and amenities. Okay. Better weapons for what? Thanks, Rosie. You're kind. Yes. Now be kind in turn. Omar is busy and can't talk right now. Okay, well. Okay. Who's the last one? Is it... Is it Emma? Okay, so just around, up. Stomach. Stomach. I'm like, I'm not hungry, I swear. Chocolate cake sounds really good right now, not that I think about it. I am just in the mood for sweets. It's a bug. It's a really fast bug. Never mind. <laughs> okay, okay, who... Oh, what is Emma? So the rumors were true after all. Welcome to town. We got a new scientist in town last month too. Can't remember his name though. Anyway, I hope you like it here. Okay, who is left? Lily? Oh, who are you? Oh, that's um, that's the scientist. I think she comes later. But where's Lily? Oh, well, maybe in uh, her house. Let's see if we can go say hi. Did I go the wrong way? I. Yes, I did. Okay, up and over. It provided she's not in her bedroom. Lily? Dang it, Lily! I want to talk! Okay, well, that's not gonna happen. Uh, we can go see Pablo. We like Pablo. Go see him. Okie dokie. Hi, Raphael. Where's your brother? Ooh, 
silver ore and coal. That not what I needed, but it's fine. Okay, I'm going to go exploring the back ways. Get some forage. How do I open the lake? Does it just like randomly open or do I actually have to like go over there? Violets, a fly with some really big eyes. Oh, wow. Why are all the bugs so freaking fast? Where is the... Oh, it's like all the way over there. It's like, where the heck is the entrance? Didn't go far enough. Hi, Dippa. Oh, look, a thing. You wonder what the swirling flowers are. Well, fine then. Didn't want to interact with you anyway. I'm just up here trying to get things done. Okay. You know I envy people who are naturally good at art? Because I am not. I am, like, the worst. <laughs> So people who are just like naturally good at it, I'm like, how? How do you do these things? How do you make beautiful things out of nothing? Like you take these sticks that you color with and you make something absolutely beautiful and it's just an absolute wonder. Just cannot comprehend. Running, running, running. Yeah, the bug's gonna run away. I get like slightly ahead of it. Ah! <laughs> I got it at the last minute. Hey, that was a little like bulbous legs. Okay, but I have known people who literally they just their natural style is just so spot on. I'm like, how in the world? Like, how do you do that? Audio is one of them. Like, she's always just been so naturally talented. And I'm like, how in the world? It's just like people who are like super super talented and it's like I happen to be kind of just mediocre at like several things. But I, I can't claim excellence in any one thing actually. I have a whole slew of I'm decent at but ne never like I'm really good. You're walking around at this time of day like you've got nothing to do. Well, you know what? I have very little to do. I feel this pufferfish thing. It's outside our scope of guarding the town against monsters. This is more political threats. <laughs> so serious. I'm just over here with my little neck going la di da di da. Okay, let's go plant some stuff. Oh, 
Ignore the sound effects. Yay, I'm making one. <laughs> okay. Go to sleep. Make no monies. <sighs> do, do, do. Oh, it's because I interacted with it. Now it's like, hello. You hear a voice, but you can't make out what's being said. Rosie. Try to focus on my voice. Good. Now listen closely. The sacred trees. Please visit any one of them. Find them around the island. They speak to me in my sleep. I remember like I couldn't figure out what to do with them. I was like, what 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 is this? What are this? Touch the tablet to summon them. They will open your eye. You are my hope to heal the island. Now wake up and go, Rosie. You interrupt my dreams. Now you're like waking me up. Pushy, pushy, pushy. You had a strange dream last night. Yes, yes I did. Weather forecast. It's going to be windy. Of course it's going to be windy. Why can't it be rainy? Rainy. Sprout. I'm glad to hear that the rumors about a new farmer in Starlet Town are true. You've been doing excellent work in the fields. Try this fertilizer, or give this fertilizer a try. Apply it to tilled soil. It'll increase your chances of harvesting higher quality crops, which will fetch more coins when it's time to sell. Jeff Smith, Farmer's Guild. <sighs> okay, dokie, time to water the plants. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to work we go. Do, 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 do. I feel like the watering can should be the first thing I upgrade because this is driving me crazy. You know, I don't know why in this one I immediately started doing five by fives. I really probably just should have stuck with the three by threes, but I'm like, no, it's fine. Probably would have driven me less crazy. But I don't think I ever did 3 by 3s in this game. Maybe in like the very, very beginning, but... All there is is 5 by 5 <gasps> Potate! Okay, so... Funniest thing happened last night. Um, so we didn't have any plans because I was like, I don't want to make the, I don't want to prep the pot roast on Wednesday night because I was like tired. I was like, I don't want to do it. And so my uh, my coworkers they did like a potato bar, and it was like a potluck thing. I was like, ooh, yay, love potatoes. And I told my husband, because we had like a ton extra, I was like, hey, like, I'm going to bring home potatoes. Well, what did I have for lunch? I had a whole baked potato. Like, that was it. I just had a giant baked potato. There was like toppings and stuff, but a baked potato was perfectly serviceable for a meal. So I tell him, I'm like, hey, babe, I'm going to bring home potatoes. And he goes, oh, okay. Wow, we could use some steak. And I was like, well, he had a dentist appointment. So I was like, well, you know. Feel free to go to the store and go pick some up. He goes, oh, you know, maybe on the next paycheck. So I take that as 
I were having potatoes and, you know, everything's fine. Well, no. No. <laughs> I get home and he's just like, so we're going to go to Lowe's. And I was like, why? And he goes, well, because we're going to be, you know, we're already going to be out. I'm like, um, since, since when? He's like, well, we have to go get dinner. I thought the thing I could pick it up. And I was like, N no, we don't have to go get dinner. I was like, we have potatoes. And he goes, potatoes? I was like, well, yeah, I told you. And he goes, no, no, potatoes are a side. I was like, no. I was like, I had a whole potato for lunch and it was just fine. And he goes, no. He's like, I need meat. I was like, you're stupid. I was like, no, it's perfectly fine. Like, no, he's just some carnivore who like literally can't live unless every one of his meals has meat in it. I'm like, oh my gosh. Hmm, just, just look at her go. Oh, my apologies there. I sort of got lost in the swirling wind. It's all very theatrical, don't you think? Who was he staring at? Was it me? Kenny? But yeah, anywho, I'm like, stupid. And then he's like, well, we'll go ask my mom and see what she thinks. His mother agreed with me. She's like, yeah, no, that's like, that, that's a whole meal. Like a big enough potato. I'm like, right? You don't understand what it says. I love how they're just like, go to the stones. And it'll make everything make sense. And I'm like, but I can't read. I can't read, but I can touch it. It's the chieftain. Ooh, the praying mantis. I just want to get the museum just like done. <laughs> I'm just so over it already and I haven't even started. Pablo, we have to stop meeting like this. School's important. I'm glad we get to, uh, we get to keep the school going on such a small island. See, look, he cares about education. What a man. I don't know how I ended up here, but I guess we're back in the mines. But yeah, anywho, I, I'm like, I can go, like, at breakfast, I have cereal. And then at lunch, I usually don't have any sort of meat at lunch, unless it's leftovers. It's like, if I, I could be a vegetarian if I had to. Do I like, like, chicken and pork? Yes, yes I do. Beef! Like, I have to be in the mood for beef. But, like, you know, I don't have to have meat at every meal. I do just fine without it. Oh my gosh, what is it with this terrible luck? Like, seriously, the game doesn't say that it has a luck system, but it has a luck system, and it's just not, not for me. I'm going to break every single rock on this level before I get a ladder. Ugh. Also, I have, I'm very prone to leg cramps. And normally, it's either a Charlie horse or a shin splint. Usually one of the two. Last night, so my left leg, I ended up with a cramp up the outer side of my calf. And it hurt. It felt like it was in my bone. Like, it was extremely painful. And a Charlie horse on the right side. I was like, what did I do? What did I do to deserve this? I'm like, am I, am I, like, not getting sufficient amounts of a certain vitamin? 
Is it multiple vitamins? I don't know. All I know is it, it hurts. <laughs> so now I can feel my left leg like tightening up and I'm like, please just let me sleep without waking up at three o'clock in the morning with an absolute like monster of a cramp. <laughs> I just wanna sleep. I would dearly love to just get a good night's sleep without waking up and just feeling like my leg is trying to just like rip itself off. Well, we're getting closer. I just want to get to level 10. I actually really just wanted to get a bunch of ore, but it's uh, not looking like it's in the cards for me. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, shiny. That's a marble. Delightful. Buddy, if you don't back off, I'm going to end up slaying my first monster. And I don't want to. Come on. Level 10. Just level 10. The Ring of Speed. What does it do? Tool speed, 30%. Heck yeah. I would have appreciated some ore, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, well, we got to level 10. I have other things to do, though. I want to take this stuff to the museum. And find a certain someone. Okay, does anybody here actually like the original Willy Wonka? Anybody at all? I used to love that movie as a kid. I thought it was great. If it if a little bit unhinged, I will say. But I thought it was great. But it has uh, recently come up with the new movie coming out that they're like, oh my gosh, like it was so dark. I'm like, well, yeah, but I mean, I still liked it. Heck, I like Coraline. Okay. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Actually, where where did she go? <laughs> ah, ah, found her. I'm <laughs> like looking around going, okay, okay. <laughs> She's on the beach. Okay, donate. Da, da, da. I got potato seeds! Wait! Ah, Scott! <laughs> Ow, my elbow! Oh, I still like a Rice Krispie treat. Maybe if we do this... Percy, come take a look at this. You see this? This is a blueprint for a bigger museum. The museum we have now is... It works, but can you imagine something bigger? Something more extravagant? Imagine this, Rosie. We have one section dedicated to the aquatic creatures of this island. Then there's another section where we can look at all the fossils we've dug up. Oh, we can 
can have a bigger section, or a bigger, bigger and better section for the ancient artifacts. This museum looks even bigger than the last one that was in the update. Doesn't that sound exciting? Sounds really cool and really expensive. Isn't it? But there's one big problem though. Money. The town just doesn't have the budget to build this museum. At least, not yet. So, if we raised the money and built- uh, what if we raised the money and built it? By that I mean, uh, I'm gonna start a Kickstarter campaign. Do you know what a Kickstarter? Er, yeah, Kickstarter is. Why not? It's a great idea. Well, I'm doing it anyway. I'm almost ready to launch this campaign, but there are a few things I need help with. Based on my research, the most successful campaigns are those that have already something significant to show. Something to reassure the backers that they're backing a legit project. If I show them, if I show the empty museum to the campaign, uh, people are going to think this project is a scam or something. Now, my dear hardworking Rosie, this is where you come in. We're really happy with what you've brought to the museum so far. They're all amazing, but it's not enough. I asked Macy to take pictures of our museum yesterday, and it just looked empty. No one is going to help us uh, uh, if all we show them is an empty museum. But if you were to donate more items... Do you see where I'm going with this? That's right. The museum won't look so empty and we can convince more people to help us fund our project. Now while you help us gather more artifacts, I'm going to prepare other materials to upload them to the campaign. I'll start this blueprint, or scan this blueprint, and then I'll ask Millie to write something awesome for the campaign. Oh, maybe I should get Lily to make us a website. Look at that, it's all coming together. Now go forth, Rosie, and collect more items so we can launch our Kickstarter campaign. Sir, yes sir. Except I have to go find Macy right now or I'm going to have a very, very sad German boy on my hands. So let's go find her. Ooh, a flower. Ooh, a flower. And distractions! This game knows me too well. Ooh, flower! Ooh, flower! And I'm... Oh, look at that! Let's <gasps> get Hi, Butter. Butter is up to something, you can tell. I love Butter so much. What about Peanut? Hi, Peanut. Whoa, Peanut is so fluffy today. <gasps> How cute. I got distracted by cats. Okay, okay. Where is she? Where is she? Macy, my sweet, where'd you go? Macy? Alex, it's a double gift for you today. My head hurts. It's light. Ugh. Well, would you look at that? Thank you. That was from Alex. He says hello. Well, no wonder your eyes hurt. You're taking pictures, like, directly looking at the light. Like, it's reflecting off of the water. Oh, let me see. Hun, you're going to lose your eyesight. Okay, la -da 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 -da. I found glass on the beach. That's probably not for the best. Grab, grab the things. All the things. The museum is nice and warm now. Not too hot, not too cold. It's a comfortable place to work in spring. All, all right then. Hickory Horned Devil. Odd name for a little bug, but okay. Oh, look at that! Gonna pass up because of caterpillar. 
Okay, I don't want to be moving slow all night. Yay! I can run again! Hey, Raj. The music's very sweet. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Oh, it's just the dude who works at the cafe. That thing just ran through a rock. <laughs> okay, okay. I can uh, sense the desperation to get away from me. It's, it's fine. It's fine. I just need to stop by the museum real quick. It's a moth! Hello, audio. water brick redeemed I'm like getting to that time of year where I'm not sick but I just have like this perpetual cough how are you doing okay how many I think I have to donate like 40 items I was like, I already did that. Oh, do I have to... I don't think I've pulled it out of the furnace yet. Question marks. Donate 50! Good night, nurse. <laughs> then go to sleep. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong. It's just like I have this perpetual cough and I'm like, I'm not sick. I feel fine. But just like, I can't stop coughing. Doesn't make one iota of sense, but. Ah, I found a cricket bug. Ah, oh, that one got away. Go to sleep, you weirdo. Although I will tell you, I will reiterate since I've already said it on the stream, I'm like greatly considering giving my D&D character a, uh, an accent, but then I have to keep up the accent. And I was telling my husband, I was like, when I start on an accent, I usually do pretty well, but then like if it's an English accent, I start like devolving into like all this other... I end up doing like six different dialects. I'm like... I just need to stick with one dialect, but it just kind of changes. And I'm like, that would probably be a really bad idea to give my character an accent that I would have a hard time keeping up with. I can do, like, a British accent. I can do a little a little bit of Scottish. Um, I love doing a southern accent. Those ones are fun. I can't do many accents, but I mean, they're fun. It's just, like I said, then I have to keep up with it. I'm like, oh boy. Oh boy. It's like the moment I slip up, it's just gonna be like, oh my gosh, look at her. You're like, yeah, I know. My accent's not the best. Okay. Greetings, Rosie. Hey kid, I've noticed the elevator for the earth shaft now goes down to level 10. I'm aware it was your doing. Since you've shown yourself to be capable, here's a task. Defeat 30 monsters, then swing by our guild once the job is completed. Consider this your entrance exam. The guild is right beside my house. Happy hunting, Kira. Yay, now I have to kill the monsters in the mine. I got a kiln. That wasn't extremely helpful. The rope is very helpful, actually. Uh, 
I did see that, but the problem is I don't ever... Like, I don't have any emotes or anything, really. I got recipes. Why is it always sunny? I'm, I'm getting a little tired of it being always sunny. Okay. Um, foraging. Double forage. Quality forage. Speed demon. <gasps> Increased sprinting speed. Heck yeah. Okay, mining. Double ore. Ooh, that's a good one. I'm gonna go with double ore. Rock Domino is really nice, but it has a less like it has a lesser chance of actually happening, so it's not as worth it. PSA: The lab is seeking a cap capable diver to assist with our work. All candidates must complete a compatibility check on site. Visit the diving pier. Ah, oh, Ling. Afraid I was when you summoned me, but open the path she has to my home. This means human must come visit me. Understand you will after meet. How to heal island. Left of your farm, my home. If confused, look at drawing I share. What's with all the mail? Okay, okay. I'm sorry, floating petals. I have to water my plants first. They, they take priority. We need to, like, get together and go through that. Because I would really like to start expanding the channel. And, like, not only, like, with emotes and stuff. But also, like, I want to be able to do more. Be able to have a little bit more fun with it. Okay, you are undoubtedly the harder person to get anything scheduled with. I love how the game just thinks I'm so dumb that they're like, here, we'll send you the floating petals to, to take you to where you need to go. I mean, we totally could. Okay, we're gonna... I was gonna say, I'm like right on par with the pedals. I think we're just running together. They're not leading me, I'm just running. Cool. So I'm like, what? I chieftain. Thank you, human, to come here. <laughs> you're a giant. You're a ghost. You're a... What are you? Goom? I chieftain is giant. <laughs> for long waited, I have for you. Come this way. Look here. that big. If you look at his shoulders, I'm pretty sure his head's like right around here. Or maybe like, he's, I don't think he's actually that big. Uh, seen you have these writings, but understand you do not. See you not power of shrines, but see you must. This is true. This is very true. The mask is huge. Key they are to help goddess. Help goddess, then sickness gone. Time now for ceremony. Uh oh. Oh, this is the <laughs> fast we must do. Her only a little, but open your eyes, will. Sturdy in five, four, three, now! <laughs> His mystic words. <laughs> try okay. Try actually reading it out loud. You're just like the uh, what? See, done so fast. 
Awakened, you have to power of nature. Goom goom. That <laughs> goddess, who? <laughs> that goddess must answer, not come from me. Ready you are to meet goddess. In Lake Temple, they're her home. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> Speak no more. Rest now, I must after ceremony. Again will I speak to you, human. Not now, later. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, so now he's gonna go, and then I have to go meet Ling. And then I have to go to the temple. Third eye. You have unlocked the third eye. You are now able to read and understand the language of old. Meet the goddess at the temple. I, I got somebody else I gotta meet first. I got things to do. People to see. I'm a very important person. Yes, goodbye. Goomba Mystic Goomba Man Chief Thing. <laughs> I love I love the other ones that you meet. They're really freaking cute. Okay, can I get down to the beach Deesa way? Can I okay see? Little Wood Seder Butterfly. Hello, I caught it! It's mine now! Okay, let's go meet Ling. Ooh, ooh. iPad's dying. My phone's fully charged. Put the iPad back on. <laughs> right? Ah, hello there. I was just looking out to see. Ever since the oil spill, people have forgotten about the ocean. Well, yeah, you can't exactly swim in the ocean or fish in the ocean if, you know, it's polluted. Actually, that's not true. They still remember. It's just someone else's problem now. Someone else will fix it. Yeah, me! <laughs> Their concern is enough. It's a shame because we can still do something about it. There's still time. Plus, all the valuable kelp down there is just going to waste. Ugh. Sorry to unload on you like that. Are you here because of the letter I sent? Uh, yeah. What am I going to do if this person doesn't work out either? You're going to send Surya because the hot man can do anything. By the way, my name is Ling. I run the lab in town. Thanks for showing up. Here's the deal. You need a diving suit to get into the water, and I need the right someone to activate my science down there. How'd you get it down there? For now, let's do an exchange. If you can activate five solar orbs in the ocean, you can keep the diving suit. Here's what a solar orb looks like. You want to bring your own, or uh, bring your scythe to clear trash because the orbs are most likely buried in it. If you're able to activate one, let and let's assume something happens because something will. It's gonna be an explosion that's going to deafen you. <laughs> You'll have questions, I'm sure, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Whatever happens, just know that the solar orbs are the key to restoring our ocean and healing the sick coral. Ma'am, yes, ma'am. Uh, since I can't go into the ocean myself, you'll be accompanied by Gibble. Oh, look at little Gibble. He's adorable. You'll learn more about how it works when you're down there. Let me know how it goes. I need to head back to my lab. Good luck, Rosie. I just met you, and I'm going to trust you with Kibble. Yes, I love Kibble. Kibble's adorable. Ah, oh, I got a diving suit. Hi, Theo. One of these days, I'll go fishing at your farm. I'm interested in surveying the area to see what kinds of fish swim there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You can visit me anytime, Theo. Sometimes I... Okay, well, Kibble talks really fast. 
Okay, so we're just gonna clear out some garbage. I have to activate five of them. Much trash. Although I will say, I think the Ring of Speed is actually doing me a, a great bit of service here. Because that's actually going pretty fast. Right? I found Mark earlier. I was like, <laughs> it was so funny. It was like at the very, like, the first part of the episode. I was like, I miss Mark. Like, it's my goal to go see Mark. And then all of a sudden he shows up at my doorstep. I'm like, <gasps> like, my prayers have been answered. Like, he just, like, showed up on my doorstep. I was like, oh, it's Mark. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I was so excited. I was like, oh, I was like, Mr. Mark. And we gave him a bouquet of flowers, and he told us that we were really nice. Like, you don't even know, Mark. There, activate the stupid beacon. I got trash to clear up. I am getting tired. Yes, thank you, Kibble. We'll just eat an underwater muffin. Yes, soggy muffins. We had muffins, um, the other day when I went to my dad and my stepmom's house and they were so good. I had a what was it? Was it I think it was an orange cranberry? It's actually really good. Yeah, orange cranberry. It was so good. It was the fall fall flavor pack. It was so delicious. And then uh, my dad made brisket. It was amazing. My dad is like such an amazing cook. I, I don't think I got that trait from him. <laughs> but yeah, my dad is a phenomenal cook. Be jealous. I wanted to catch that slug thing, but it disappeared behind the garbage. You know, Audio, if you ever feel like coming back, there's there's plenty. There's, there's plenty of stuff. And, you know, there's also things like, you know, hugs and affection. Not just FaceTime calls going, we miss you. Okay, Kibble, you're telling me about low stamina like it means something to me. Why? Why do you sound like you're just suffering? Like, eat real food. I promise. It's fine. An occasional indulgence is not going to harm you. But why? For why would you do this? Like, live a little. I understand the importance of good diet and whatnot, but if you can't, like, cut loose and have fun at least every now and then, so what's the point if you're just going to be sad and miserable?
Why is it the stamina is just... it's... It doesn't come very easy, but it's oh so difficult to lose. And where's the second? By eating chicken and broccoli? I mean, there are other things that are easy to make that aren't just chicken and broccoli. effective too if you really want to look at it although chicken is I picked up a pack of um, drumsticks from the store and it was like three dollars and eleven cents for five of them I'm like what the heck like that it's pretty darn cheap ooh ooh starfish what what ooh <laughs> my stamina is low Oh, okay, okay. But do you remember the 17 day diet? Do you remember the pain? Do you remember the crave, like the daydreams of chicken? And he's not home all the time. Maybe you just need something for lunch. Maybe a little something extra for lunch. Oh my gosh. I I really need to <sighs> I like to cook, but it's starting to cause problems because like I need to portion things better. But I really like the food that I make. Audio, my heart cries for you. I have fresh bread in my kitchen that I made. And like seriously, my my heart cries for you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like seriously, my my heart cries for you. I can't. Oh, I, I could never. Also, my stomach hates salad, so I would be aggressively sick all the time. And yet the sad thing is, I like salad, but my stomach doesn't. Yeah, I, I made fresh bread and it's so good. Like, I smelled it and it has this, like, sweet yeast bread smell. I love yeast bread. Like, just, if I could have an air freshener that was, like, bakery after yeast bread, it would be the best air freshener that I've ever had in my life. I love bread. And I made non-cinnamon cinnamon rolls the other day and those were really good, too. I'm not trying to hurt you. I, I promise. It's just, I like, I like cooking and baking. All the things you can't do right now. Okay, we have treasure chests. Bloop, bloop, blah, blah. You know, I really should, like, I've already gone over on the episode. Yeah, I'm like half an hour over. You know what? You know what? My husband's asleep. It's fine. It's fine. I'm trying to get better at cooking, and <laughs> and then I just end up making pot roast. Ooh, look at that! Plus three stamina. No way. I made eighty. That's that's awful. You know, my one of my favorite things to do right now. It's sort of a minor obsession. Is um, ramen with just a little bit of chili oil in it. Oh my gosh. I love chili oil. So my stomach doesn't like it. It hurts. <laughs> it gives me heartburn. Good morning to you, Rosie. Why, hello, Surya. You have a great spot here. Waking up to this every day must feel amazing. Well, actually, it's a giant field full of trees, but sure. 
Or floats your boat. I heard from Ling. <laughs> that feels weird. Uh, calling Dr. Zhang Ling. Well, she insisted. Anyway, she said you went diving. How was it? Can I bring Kibble home? <laughs> I want to say yes, but Kibble isn't mine to give. So, anyway. When you dive, you might come across kelps. They look like large dancing worms in on the seabed. Those are kelps. Useful stuff. There are wide varieties of kelp. Each has its own characteristics and benefits. The ones you probably encounter now is uh, is the bronze kelp. Looks kind of brownish. The lab can use them to upgrade your seeds and fodder. Uh, it will then increase the quantity or quality of your crops and animal products. High quality means higher prices too. You need to extract the kelp's essence before bringing them to the lab though. An extractor can extract kelp's essence. Here's the blueprint for making it. <laughs> to make an essence, you need to make or place 10 kelp and a glass inside the extractor. Bring 10 kelp essence to the lab and you can choose which product to upgrade. Or which produce. How's that? Good luck. He is so sweet. I love him so much. All the guys are really cute. Dear Rosie, we're gathering at the lake tomorrow to celebrate the start of spring. There's a potluck cookout at the festival. Uh, so make sure to bring something yummy. Arrive between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. I don't have a kitchen. Although I have found a video game character I am officially obsessed with. So remember the other day when I posted like, oh yeah, who's everyone's favorite like video game character? I found mine. I am not proud of it. It's, I will say, okay, it's from a recent game. And, uh, he's all over the internet. Oh, that would be funny. <laughs> well, it was like, Mark, he's like, he's like, did you catch any of that? I'm like, yes, Mark, I'm not deaf. You got you got to take a guess, cause yeah, that that was a whole a whole thing. I'm like, oh, oh, okay, that <laughs> so that's where the internet's going now. And then I willingly went there too. I'm like, oh, okay, I see how it is. It was in one of the top contenders for game of the year. I need to plant more carrots. But no, no, it's not Leon. If I liked Leon that much, I would have liked Leon a lot more back then. A new release of that game would not be enough to, to, to make me absolutely obsessed with Leon. Look all the little children just meeting. <gasps> it's Taco! <laughs> you say hello to Taco. He seems to like it, and that's all that matters. Yeah, but I mean, in comparison to this other character. <gasps> bon Bon! Come here, Bon Bon! Woof woof! <gasps> who, who are Bon Bon's people? I don't know who Bon Bon's people are. Yes! That should narrow it down considerably. <laughs> Yes! 
Yes, it's a Starian. Oh my gosh. That guy's voice actor deserves all the awards. Every award. Every award possible. Yeah, his name's the Starian, and... <sighs> Like, words, I don't even have the words. I don't, okay, no, I have words, they're just not appropriate words. <laughs> but, yes. <laughs> they mm, like I said, I, I have words, but none of them are appropriate. <laughs> There's just, there like, every now and then there's just a character or something. It's just, like, the whole picture. I'm like, okay. Alrighty then. And then I was like, I need Baldur's Gate. That's why I want the game so bad. It's because I want to romance the, romance the crap out of him. I'm like, yes. <laughs> Audio. <laughs> you and me both. High five. High five across a couple states. Yes. Rosie. Rosie's blushing. It's fine. <laughs> At last. But my time is short. Like, I legit watched an hour and 45 minutes of somebody's playthrough, and they, like, made a small movie of their scenes with Astarian, and I watched it religiously until I finished it. And I'm just like, <sighs> big sigh. The altars. They hold the key to rejuvenate my strength and heal the land. Anybody who looks up a story on YouTube, I, don't judge me. <laughs> no judgment here. Begin with an offering at this altar. In return, receive my blessing to traverse shrines. It will aid your dr And then we got cut off. Bad signal. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty sure I dreamed about him the other night. I, I'm pretty sure that's the thing that happened. No shame. <laughs> no shame, just happy. Okay, we have two more people to meet, and Lily's one of them. The pain in the butt. <laughs> okay, let's see. <gasps> Mushroom! I have everything but wasabi. Oh, is it? Is it back? Those butterflies are just too damn fast. Okay. But yeah, I'm just like... Oh. And there's something about the way that he talks. I'm... Like, I'm trying to figure out what exactly it is about him, but it's literally just the whole picture. The way that he speaks... He, it's, he has a secret. And he's just... It's, it's He's taunting. And he's teasing. And it's just like, don't do that to me! Ah. Ah, okay. But yeah, now I'm just like... Every time I daydream, I'm just like hearing his voice. And just like the... The way he like tries to joke about things. But it's like you you know... He is a very serious person. But he jokes about everything to kind of like throw you off. But he has the best voice. <laughs> Seriously, his voice actor was just phenomenal. I don't think I've ever been so impressed by, by voice acting before. And you know what's even more funny? So, Astarian's voice actor actually is doing, like, a YouTube playthrough of the game. And he's romancing himself. It's hilarious. And he gets all giddy and he's 30 giggles because... <laughs> because he says naughty things and it's hilarious. I'm like, oh my gosh, I love your dedication. It's amazing. 
Like, seriously, watching him romance himself is just, like, the best. It's so freaking funny. Did I sell all of the carrots that I needed? Ow, my ankle just cracked. I need this, and I need this, and we can sell this carrot. But, like, seriously, he starts getting giddy, and he starts laughing, and he's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, the first thing he said in the, one of the last videos that I watched, he goes, I can fix him. <laughs> and all the girls in the comment section were like, it's all of us. It's all of us. We all said that. <laughs> We've all been there at one point. Like, I can fix the Starian. It's fine. <laughs> Thanks, Rosie. You're kind. <laughs> but yeah, I can fix him. Although, okay, there is... It's not completely happy because, I mean, it's it's D&D &D based. You can't be happy in D&D. &D. Um, yeah, I found Mark. Um, Cherry Blossom Festival. Huh, I don't know. Crowds aren't really my thing, but I don't want to miss out on Frank's cooking. This is a dilemma. But yeah, it's just like... Mm. Uh. But yeah, you can't be happy in D&D. &D. But yeah, there's... Uh, I'm just like, I've seen... I've seen it. I know there's hope. <sighs> but I'm just like stuck... I'm stuck on Baldur's Gate now. And it's just like, everyone else just falls flat in comparison. It's just like, oh. It's like, it's so sad being disappointed in people that I have like, loved and admired and I love these characters and I'm just kind of like, ah, it's you. Why can't you be him? He is such, <laughs> he's such a kind of toxic person though. But it's like, oh, in, in the best way possible. okay I'm, I'm not drooling I'm not drooling it's fine it's totally fine <laughs> watch anybody who doesn't know who a starian is is gonna go look him up and they're gonna be like uh rose um yes okay so I think I've narrowed it down not only is he extremely just charming and like magnetic but he's also extremely vulnerable and that makes my like protective nature come out. So I want to protect him. Like I like the devil take anybody who ever tries to harm him because I will rip them to shreds. And at the same time, he's just like, I'm like, uh, uh, no, it's okay. You can take care of me. Get you a man who could do both. I got the last piece! Let's go donate it and get some teleports going. But yeah, it's funny. I don't- I know like maybe two of the other companions' names. No, okay, three. So there's Gale. Actually, no, I guess I know more. Gale, Will, um, Lazelle, Shadowheart. There's one that begins the K. I don't I don't remember her name though. But with the Starian, that that's all that matters. That's all that matters. I feel like I have revealed just way too much about myself in this in this episode. It's <laughs> rather questionable. So, okay, it's the, it's the same reason that we don't talk about my story. My 80,000 word story. Which is almost done, by the way. I just have to get the desire to actually finish it. <sighs> I'm getting, like, that last chapter blues and we're just like, ah. I have a hard time finishing things. Whether it's, like, a cup of water that, like, there's, like, two, like, two sips left. And I'm just like, I don't want to... <laughs> Or if it's like me reading a book and I'm just like, uh, finishing it. Okay, this one shouldn't be too hard. Oh, and I only need five of them. Oh, perfect. Like, I just have the hardest time. Or if I'm eating dinner, or if, like, I, if I'm eating a snack, I can be eating this snack for like a week, like a bag of like, if it's a bag of chips, 
I will eat this thing for like a week and then all of a sudden when it's like the very last bit of the bag, I won't eat it. I don't know why. You did it! Yeah! Drink this to receive my blessing. Okay, what is it with all these weird deities and stuff going, here, drink it. I'm like, ah. Rosmodius in Stardew has us drink the magic concoction that gives us like weird acid visions of trees. And then Mr. Key has us drink the, what is it, the snake milk at the level 25 of the, um, the desert mine. And it's like, quit having me drink things. It's suspicious. The sparkles have returned. <laughs> now you can use my shrines and travel freely between them. Uh, rad? <laughs> But seriously, quit having me drink things. Why can't we just have like a moment, like a Simba moment? Just like christen my forehead, just, just like that. Totally fine. And because I don't use a camera, you couldn't see, but I made the Simba motion over my camera, just like, Simba. <laughs> like, quit having me drink things. Ooh, sugar cane seeds. And I'm like super early in the season too. <gasps> Look at that! <laughs> to the boat. How many more can I do? Okay, the diving pier there. Oh well, okay. It's not that many, but you know it's something. No drink potions, I want tattoos. <laughs> oh, well, you know, oh my gosh. I oh, I turned my leg in just the right way that it tried to give me another Charlie horse. I'm like, stop it. I'm like, quit hating me, body. I'm trying. Like, I just, I really want to scream at my body sometimes. Just be like, why do you hate me? What did I do to you? What did I do to deserve this? Like, I know for a fact I'm going to wake up. It's a whale! It's the Ocean Guardian Scarecrow. And I got it from, um, they had some, it, they were paid DLC, but it was, like, all the money went towards, like, saving the oceans and stuff. And so I got that one, and then I got that one. Ocean Explorer Scarecrow. And I got the Ocean Explorer outfit and the Ocean Guardian outfit. Yeah, it was really cool. It was like a fundraiser. So I was like, oh, you know, I could support that. Okay, we need 10, 10. I don't think I have 10 more of anything. I have five and one and, you know, it's just meh. meh. Although we have some energy, I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to chop down some of the, some of these trees. Jesus, that took far longer than anticipated. Let's uh, not crowd the crops. I love how I've totally gone on a rant about Astarian and now I'm just like, <laughs> you know, every time I read a book or something and they're like, oh, you know, she made moon eyes out of them. I'm like, you know, I never really got that until now. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's the expression that I'm making. Just kind of like ever so slightly looking up towards the heavens and just, <sighs> just big dramatic sighs. For one of the most toxic characters ever, but <laughs> oh my gosh! And I'm like, the developers knew what they were doing. They did. They knew. Okay, okay, but I I'm gonna out myself one more time. Um, I was watching this video, and it was like, what your uh what your chosen romance partner in uh, Baldur's Gate 3 says about you. And when it got to Astarian, they were just like, you had a crush on the guy people said was gay in middle school. And I'm like, 
Dear Lord, why, <laughs> why is it accurate? <laughs> and why do I hate that it's right? I'm like, no, that, that happened. That was a thing. My nemesis, who I actually just, like, have the worst crush on. And you know what's weird? When I was younger, I had, like, this obsessive notion of love. And I don't know why. Like, my, like, I was just so hardwired to, to want to be loved that if I had a crush, it became this, like, all-consuming obsession. But to the point where, like, I, I just wanted to be, like, the best that I could for this person. Like, no matter how horribly he treated me at times, anytime he was nice to me, it was just like, oh my gosh, like, falling all over myself, fawning, and I'm like, <sighs> every time I think about that person again, I'm just like, oh my gosh, like, what, what was going through my head? But also, I have a lot of unanswered questions, so if I ever run into him again, I'm going to have to struggle to keep everything in, because it's like, why have you been thinking of these questions for, like, 15 years now? Quit it. That's enough. Video game characters are hard because there's so many different characters for so many different reasons. And it's funny because, like, JD, she knows that uh, in, in Fallout 4, I have a husband. That is my husband. I'm looking forward to meeting him on this next playthrough. But he's my husband. I love him. I love him so much. And she was playing Fallout, ran into him, and went, Oh, it's Rose's husband! She knew! <laughs> like... Even she thinks of him as my husband. So it's like, it was so hard not to say McCready because like that that's my husband. That's my man. And I'm just like, oh. <laughs> but now it's like, Astorian. He's in my head. <laughs> but then there's Elliot. I have, I have too many things. But yes. Oh. And the sad thing is, audio, you know who that person was. Tell me that description of the what does your favorite Baldur's Gate character say? Yeah, no. Tell me it's not true. Do you know how many people ask me that? Like, isn't he gay? I'm like, no. And then I'm like, well, now I'm questioning. It's a lot of questions. Anywho. I'm like devolving into madness here. Just boy crazed madness. Oh my gosh, I'm back in high school. Oh, it's the festival day. But... Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Did I never tell you? Oh, dear Lord, am I outing myself again? Oh, no. You had to have known. It was painfully obvious. Painfully. Think about it. Started eighth grade. It was painfully obvious. No, no, no. Not high school. Eighth grade. This started back then. Now I'm just gonna like sit here until until you remember. <laughs> yes, yes, middle school. Just think about it. Just think about it. Just think about those two things: middle school, and everyone assumed that uh, he was batting for the other team. Just think about it. It's so painfully obvious. Did I never tell you? Oh my gosh, I had to have told you. I had to have. Okay, if you remember who it is, send me his name on, on Discord or text, whichever one. See, and he just creeps up in my mind every now and then. I'm like, I wonder what he's doing. And then our birthdays are close, so every time our birthdays happen. I'm just like, oh, should I say hi? It's been a really long time. Yep. <laughs> yep. The devil himself. <laughs> Anywho. Yeah. So, um, that is going to be it for this episode. <laughs> before, before I just burst into flames from my face being so red. Okay. Anywho. Um, I will be back on Monday with another episode of my Discord member's choice, but until then, I hope everyone has a fantastic rest of their weekend, and I hope to see you guys then. Bye! <laughs>